Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV here at the Precious Metal Summit Conference in Zurich. It's day two, and yeah, my first interview partner here in the morning, Simon Makodi, the CEO of Northern Superior Resources. Hey, welcome and good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, good morning. Yeah, thanks uh, for taking the time. Thank Northern time. Superior, very interesting company, I must uh, say. Um, of course, exploration company, but you are consolidating the Jibugumu camp. So what's exactly going on there? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the Shibugamu Gold Camp is really uh, what we believe is the next big camp uh, to emerge. Mm -hmm. And we've seen in recent years two or three camps uh, emerge globally. Uh, so the Shibugamu Gold Camp, to be clear, that's in Quebec, in mm -hmm. Canada. Um, it's north of Quebec City. Uh, and already this camp has a total of about eight, uh, sorry, a total of about 10 million ounces. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of low-hanging fruit. So right now, the camp, we're building the ounces to see how big uh, this whole thing is going to get. Mm -hmm. But there's one specific attribute of this camp uh, that really brought our attention and got us to move into this camp. is uh, All of these deposits are very, very close to one another. Mm -hmm. So if we can put it under one roof, one company, one joint venture, whatever the structure, uh, then we can you know, design an operation of fin feeding the same mill, hub and spoke operation, yeah, exactly. which would be the equivalent of having yeah. discovered uh, an enormous deposit, right? So Whoa. that That's would change that would change the game. Mm -hmm. So by consolidating the camp, uh, we are creating this value. So all the 10 million ounces that I'm referring to, um, uh, just two years ago, they were held by a total of six different companies. Mm -hmm. So we took a leadership role. Mm -hmm. uh, and fast forward to today, all of these 10 million ounces are owned by only two companies, mm -hmm. which obviously us, Northern Superior, uh, and I Am Gold, mm -hmm. uh, who's currently um, you know, uh, ramping up the production at Cote Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, is clearly their next stage of, uh, of development, uh, the Shibukamu mm -hmm. Gold Camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I found lots of interesting is um, if I look at those different, uh, let's call it, yeah, projects or uh, areas, um, it was more like around the one gram gold per ton. But the one thing with I Am Gold was over 12 grams gold per ton. But what, well, from where comes this difference? Uh, yeah, so there's there's a few different um, deposits in the mm -hmm. area, right? Uh, the and and it's a it's a camp because of the different uh, size of deposit and, and variation in grade. Mm -hmm. uh, National Bank, who's the lead underwriter for for I am Gold, uh, published a research note um, comparing the Shibugamu Gold Camp to the Fort Knox mine complex mm -hmm. uh, of Kinross mm -hmm. uh, in Alaska. Uh, so uh, overall, this is a bulk tonnage uh, uh -huh. operation project. Okay, but there's you're right. There's one project mm -hmm. uh, of I am Gold called Monster Lake, uh, which has 14 grams a ton. Mm -hmm. They recently published a new uh, mm -hmm. resource on it. Uh, this is what we call a sweetener for for the camp. You can't start by mining this before you mine everything else, uh, but the high grade really helps. Um, you know. Uh, you can ship some yeah, high grade to, payback, to the core yeah. area, exactly. <laughs> so, so we've got a nine, um, uh, I am Gold has the Nelligan project, mm -hmm. uh, which has a typical bulk tonnage operation grade, similar to, you know, Cote and other mm -hmm. type of operations like that. And we uh, have Philibert, which is only nine kilometers away, uh, which has a grade that is uh, thirty percent higher, mm -hmm. which would significantly lower the payback of of the whole camp. Mm -hmm. Our okay. metallurgy is also very, very strong, yeah. which can also be optimized with further consolidation of the camp. Mm -hmm. So right now we are focused on doing a very aggressive drilling campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, so is I Am Gold. I Am mm -hmm. Gold this year have been focused on drilling Nelligan, Monster Lake. They just published a new resource on Monster Lake. They have a new resource coming on, uh, on Nelligan. They also mm -hmm. have uh, two other projects in the area. Uh, and we are in the middle of a 20,000 uh, meter drilling campaign uh, focused on Philibert. We just want to see how big this thing is. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And uh, through the, um, yeah, I, I would say, closeness or neighborship of all those projects, that um, looks to me like that the geological setup is everywhere the same so that you can really do the hub and spoke. Yes. Yeah, so you have no differences, sulfide, oxide, this stuff here. Correct. Yeah. It's, it's something that I think mm. uh, you all mill, uh, but mm. all of this needs to be looked at and optimized, mm. right? But right now the camp is at the stage mm. uh, where we're building the ounces to see how big this, this mm. whole thing can get. Mm. Okay, when you say you are in the still in the mode of consolidation, does that mean you still have to yeah, buy 
some of some, some of the projects or do you have to or do you own them now all how 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 is that working yeah so of, of all the projects again there were six companies two years ago now exactly. there's two yeah, right exactly so uh, that is all done really fixed yeah. okay. and and M &A is definitely in our blood yeah um, now we've been uh, consolidating the area um, and and some are saying that maybe we've moved now from being the hunter to to have become the hunted. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'm a huge believer that there's so much value to be created by mm -hmm. putting it all together that somehow, um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. with an uh, unknown structure, this this will definitely happen. Mm -hmm. A question of when and how, not a question of if. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we are uh, building the, ounce, the, the ounces ourselves. Okay, super. So that would be the next step because you did, uh, I think, with Cormark an $8 million bought deal and uh, I saw management participated with $1 million, right? Correct. Yeah, Cormark was good. the sole underwriter mm -hmm. uh, of the wow. eight, uh, $8 million bought deal. Good demand. Uh, we actually upsized it. Uh, Cormark doesn't have retail, so it all went to institutions. Mm -hmm. Uh, management uh, and insiders, we participated for a million dollars mm -hmm. uh, out of the eight. Uh, after this financing, we now own 25% uh, of the company ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, it gets you up in the morning. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, skim in the game. I like that. <laughs> so where, where do you want to spend focus now this money? So we're focused on Philibert, uh, which okay. again is nine kilometers away from IM Gold's main mm -hmm. project in the area. Um, we published uh, last year a resource of 2 million ounces at 1.1 gram. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we are doing all expansion drilling mm -hmm. uh, to uh, the, because uh, the 2 million ounces uh, is uh, within a three kilometer uh, pit. But the geophysics indicate that we are open two kilometers to the east and two kilometers to the west. Mm -hmm. And we can also make it wider. So we can go deeper and go after the higher grade um, stuff that that uh, that we have uh, at lower level. Okay, so but when could we expect that? Say um, another resource estimate then. What so we're think? we're right now um, still advancing what we call the you know uh, late summer drilling campaign. Then we're going to stop for Christmas and we give time mm -hmm. for the ground to freeze. Then mm -hmm. we go back and we drill again during mm -hmm. the winter season. So comes the summer, then mm -hmm. we, we will have a, a new resource update uh, okay. on, on Philibert. Yes. Super, perfect. You said already Cormac uh, brought you a lot of institutions again in. So 25% is management. Who else is uh, shareholder? Um, I mean, we have. I'm a bit reluctant to mention the names publicly, but okay. we have we have a, a good about uh, you know uh, 12, 13 uh, very strong institutions that, okay. that are in the name. Um, I think with um, you know less than five five phone calls, I probably get to 50 percent of the shares. So oh, we have a good. very very yeah. good uh, very good hang on mm -hmm. on our shareholder base and very very supportive uh, shareholders. Even in the in the very dark days of mining that we went through over the past uh, three, four, or five years. Um, we were always, we we're very good at raising money, more importantly, on very good terms. Mm -hmm. So even in those dark days, um, no warrants, um, the last three financings that we did, wow. no warrants, super. um, and there's very little warrants and they're owned mostly by an insider. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. that, that's always good to keep, keep yeah. a clean capital structure. Yeah, because there's a reason why I'm asking, because it looks to me like this is so attractive what you have assembled and you have already, I am gold in the middle here sitting. So why wouldn't they buy you? Meaning it's through that you are protected. Uh, yes. I would say. So we, I mean, we, everything has a price tag. That's for sure. Correct. But, uh, correct. I think the price should look good and uh, you pay a high price for that. Well, I would yeah. agree with that. <laughs> okay, super. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, then thank you very much. I would say let the drills turn, do that window program, and then we look very forward to your resource estimate. And I'll bring your attention to keep an eye on our spin off company, On Gold. Oh, I forgot that. Sorry for right? that. Yep. Keep an Sorry. eye on, on Gold. <laughs> That's uh, right. Yeah, On Gold, please. Give so us we did a spin off here. company yeah. uh, with a TPK project mm -hmm. in Ontario. Um, and uh, we still have those shares on our balance sheet, i.e. Mm -hmm. it's a publicly listed company now. So yeah, 72% of the company, right? We still yeah. own 72% mm -hmm. of that company. Those shares are on our balance sheet. Uh, obviously, it's a transition period, mm -hmm. uh, but this company is up to great things. I mean, uh, it has the TPK project, which is the... Uh, which is the uh, North America's largest gold and teal anomaly. Mm -hmm. um, 25 grams over 13 meters uh, came out of that. 
Uh, and in Northern Ontario, it is especially important uh, to be mindful of social acceptability mm -hmm. and relationships with local communities. To that effect, we have built a team that is absolutely second to none mm -hmm. when it comes to, to this. Um, so we also want to leverage this team uh, so that it can unlock value of other projects in mm -hmm. Ontario. Uh, so we have a few initiatives on the go, uh, and, and this company is... Uh, up to great things. Uh, okay. So Northern Superior owns 72% mm -hmm. of it. So if they're successful, that yeah. obviously, uh, that helps us a lot. Okay, so and you want to keep those 72% for foreseeable future? There's different ways. Uh, obviously, you can't have a company with a shareholder at 72%. You yeah. can't have a public company with a shareholder at 72%. I get that. I also didn't want to um, to put pressure on, on the newly listed company who is not very liquid mm -hmm. by distributing those shares. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's a recipe for disaster. So there's a few ways out, right? This company mm -hmm. could grow and we can get diluted out, right? Um, but we can eventually distribute uh, all or part of those uh, shares to to our shareholders. Mm -hmm. So there's a few alternative, there's a few path forward mm -hmm. uh, too early to know where we're going to end up. Okay, super. But sounds like a large game plan, I would say. <laughs> Fantastic. So 2025 looks good. It looks very busy. You have the money to deliver and we look forward to the resource estimate. Thanks. You. Super. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Great. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Simon McCody, the CEO of Northern Superior Resources. And you heard it. Lots of things are going on. They have consolidated the Jibugumu uh, Gold Camp. It looks like a new gold camp with, yeah, maybe plus 10 million ounces here. And uh, don't forget, Iron Gold is also here in the game already. And uh, they have uh, this still the 72% in OnStar Gold. So really a lot going on. And what gives me a lot of confidence is the $8 million financing with Cormark, because when you get an underwritten guaranteed financing fully with uh, full with institutions, they do also their due diligence. So really check out the company. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Zurich.